Hi Hobbyist, this is CTC Quick Study Guide. Welcome. Here are our platforms. The multi-function shield sound card for an oscilloscope and the Arduino compatible board. Yeah, I'm going to use hereafter in my project the Arduino multifunction shield. I'm probing pin 13. Okay, just connect it to your Arduino and the last step connect it to your USB CPU port. And there you go. Good. Here is my website. I'll point. Clear timer on compare match. CTC. You can read all these experiments in this page on Jungletronics. What is our goal? We need to flash an LED every 100 millisecond using CTC mode. We have a crystal of 16 megahertz. Let's copy and paste this first code in order to see something working. Yeah, open AT Mail Studio 7. Okay, close the older project and choose new project C++ CCJ executable executable project. Oh, oops. Choose a name like CTC01. That's good. Okay. Now a directory. Okay. That's good. Create a new folder. Tutorial as a hint. Okay. That's tutorial. Oh. Oops. Select it and click OK. Now type 18 mega 328p and that's select it and click to select paste the code ready on memory good what this code do in essence it configured the timer on its CTC mode. That's good. Details you can find on my website. It clears the counter resolution TN, TCN T2 and set 156 on OCR2 way register in my method. Just set the pin configuration for LED output initialize the timer and toggles the LED connected to it and clears the flag by writing one to it. Yes, this is right. The data sheet lays down it. Now build build solution and press or press F7 for compile. Okay, now tools send to Arduino Uno. That's right. Now open sound card oscilloscope. Yeah, that's right. And on settings, set the audio device output and input for USB audio in both configuration now on main page wait for the stabilization of the signal for roughly 10 hertz and there you go 9.95 pretty close to 10 hertz good now let's return to the code and change the OCR2A value to 220. This is for 15 hertz. See calculation on my website. Okay, that's good. Now build again, build build solution or press F7 for compile tools sent to Arduino Uno. 
open sound card oscilloscope and wait for this signal stabilization again. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. 1767 is what I've got. Not so close to 15 hertz due to the limitation of these oscilloscope the reliable range is only 10 to 15 hertz little is not it but for a practice this is very good okay now let's return to the page and see interruption this is the register to deal with interrupt mask register five modification of the previous code first include interrupt library second enable ctc timer two third set global interrupt and fourth implement isr fifth empt while method and here is the code and the while commented out let's get right to the end we will test the code that did not even use interrupt service routine isr the output will be right to the OC2A pin. This is Arduino D11. The only main modification that you will need to do right now is this part. and pb3 okay let's copy and paste the code in the early 18 mail studio 7 project and see what we can get and there let's wait Let's see, one, two, three, and there you have it. The LED on pin 11 are now blinking, and the code is awesome. No ISR, no while, no pullings. The hardware takes command, and that's all. Please see the reference in credits in my page here is the sound card oscilloscope app download and use this oscilloscope it is amazing you bet and here is a video explaining how to get the oscilloscope up and ready. And finally, make sound car oscilloscope page. This is all, and this is your host, J3. Thank you. And thank you. I will see you soon. Bye.